So we are here in Monticello. Look at the map. Nice day today. Pioneer Day weekend. So there's a lot going on Monticello. It's not here for that. Banded metal and put some more metal in there. We're gonna make a barbecue grill out of this. So stay tuned. We'll try it out, see if it will work or not. I don't know. Brian's gonna We've been behind on videos. Way, way, way behind. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we'll shoot a little bit of this and making the grill and stuff and showing you how I'm gonna do it. Stay tuned. So we got it marked out. So we're gonna cut here, cut here, cut this top off. Don't need it. And we'll start cutting, we'll shut it off. Super loud. Unless you want me to cut it. You guys want to watch me cut metal. It's boring. Don't know. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. We'll be back.
Anyway, gotta cut the top off and then weld them together. spot on this side and we'll have a big old open flame on that side so we can get all the ashes out of it and slide it over. I always seen that work really good so stay with us we're almost done. Almost stay, done. stay tuned. Pack it? Yeah. Put the top one on. Got my nephew all the way from Denver. Check him out. I had to call him in to get uh, do some welding because I don't know how to weld. Not certified welder. <laughs> like the certified this welder. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a certified. Who is it? Certified ground. Uh, certified. Uh, what is it? Grinder. Grinder. <laughs> got a left-handed grinder instead of a right-handed grinder. Too hot or too cold? But anyway, he's still trying to figure it out. So this is the welder, this is the helper, I'm just the, the camera, well, the, the person that talks to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to weld it up. Uh, so, it's coming along, we got it tacked together. We're just going to keep on welding it, so. My eyes. I can't see. So we're still welding. It's been a couple hours. A couple hours? <laughs> and we're in the next day. <laughs> the next day we're still welding. So I got like four inches on this side and the whole half side still. So. And then uh, 
put it in there and feel the world's biggest fire in this barrel. Stay tuned. You'll see then. It's going to be awesome looking. So we got the barrel welded all up. <coughs> There's some uh, bracing that uh, that was cut from the mines or whatever. Anyway, that's it. So now what we'll do is well this expanded metal. Some angle iron like this. And just weld, 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 all the way down, across. Another one on the bottom, and then have a strap that went across right there. We'll try. We'll see. But stay tuned. Here it is. We got the grill. Got a handle on it. We got a gr gr grill, the expanded metal in there. Another handle. That's how you make a grill out of a 55 gallon drum. A big grill anyway. This comes off, it's removable so you can put ash under it. See that? Done! We just got done with <laughs> the grill. Me and Ryan got it all worked on today all day. Well, 15 minutes. Put them on. Got it done in a couple couple minutes. It wasn't too long, but check it out. We're burning it, burning all the paint off of it, all the oil, whatever was in it. It's hydraulic fluid, so it's burning all the all the crap that was in it. And uh, big barbecue tomorrow. Maybe we'll record some of it. Maybe we'll forget. Maybe we'll leave the camera at home. I don't know. So. Maybe we'll put a barbecue in tomorrow. Thanks for watching.